Hey, what's going on? It's Mike, and I am here with another episode of Smart Simple Digital. So today, I'm going to share five keyboard shortcuts that I think are super, super helpful. Uh, in fact, the shortcuts that I use just about every day um, when I'm working, and they help me to accomplish a lot of common tasks really quickly, really easily, and they prevent me from having to take the longer route of going up into the toolbar or the menu bar and having to look around uh, for the option to get these tasks done. These keyboard shortcuts just are way quicker, help me to save a lot more time. So I wanna share them with you, hopefully they help you out. But before I get started, if you haven't done so already, take a second, maybe half a second, to click on the subscribe button below. Should be down in this corner right here, right below. Nonetheless, look for it right under here somewhere. <laughs> click on it, subscribe, uh, and by doing that, every time that I put out a new video, you will be among the first to get notified. So do that right now. Thank you. So all the shortcuts that I'm going to mention work on both Macs and PCs. I'm gonna use the term control a lot, uh, which is the PC terminology, but if you're a Mac user, which I am, um, just replace control with command. So instead of pushing the control key, you're gonna push the command key uh, in combination with the other keys that I mentioned when I explain these shortcuts, and that's how you do it. But nonetheless, these work on Mac and PCs. Keep that in mind. So shortcut number one is control C, or if you're on a Mac, it's command C. And this is a shortcut to copy items to your computer's short-term memory. Uh, you can copy just about anything from text to images. I use this a lot when I want to move text around, when I, when I want to copy text, I'll say that. Um, and in practical terms, the way that this would work is, for example, let's say I'm, I'm in a document and there's a paragraph that I just want to copy. So I would just, with my mouse, identify the area, click, drag, and highlight all that text that I want to copy, and then I will hit Command C uh, or Control C. And once I do that, that text that I've copied is going to be copied over into my computer's short-term memory. You might be thinking right now, like, well, why would you want to do that? What is the practical use for that? And that actually takes me to tip number two, or shortcut number two, which is Control V, or Command V if you want a Mac. Uh, and that is a shortcut to paste an item. So any item that is copied over into your computer's short-term memory, once it's there, you can uh, use Control V to paste it into another location. This is another one that I use if I am, let's say, creating a document and want to move text around. Um, I can just I'll go back to step number one or tip number one. I will use Control C to, um, to copy a chunk of text. And then I'll go up to another section in the document where I want to paste it. Um, and I'll hit Control V and it will place that text there. Uh, this also comes in handy when I might be moving text from um, an existing document over into a new document. There are a lot of, of instances where this could come in handy. Really the possibilities are almost, almost endless. Um, not only does this work in uh, word processing applications, you know, Matt, I'm sorry, Microsoft Word, uh, Google Docs. You can also use it in spreadsheets as well, um, Google Sheets, Excel. Honestly, really any place where you can enter text, where you can enter and edit and manipulate text, these shortcuts should work. Control C, Control V will work. Keyboard shortcut number three is Control Z or Command Z if you're on a Mac. And that is a shortcut to undo whatever your last action was. This comes in handy for me a lot if I delete something by accident, whether it's deleting a word or sentence or maybe deleting an item out of a, a, a cell on a spreadsheet. I'm probably sure all of you guys have been in a situation where you might be creating a document and you accidentally hit the wrong button on your keyboard, or you, you click the mouse, you click something that you don't mean to click, and it just reformats your document, might delete something, and you have no idea what just happened. Um, if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, the first thing that you should try doing, just hit Control Z, and that will undo that last action. And depending on what application you're in, sometimes you can actually hit Control Z um, several times, and it will undo the last series of actions that you've just done. So you can go back sometimes as far as you need to uh, to, to undo things. 
So control Z, that will undo whatever your last action was. Shortcut number four is control T. I use this one a bunch, a lot. Um, and, and control T or command T is a shortcut to open up a new browser tab. Um, if you're like me and when you're browsing the web, you cannot just have a single page open. Control T will open up a new tab in your browser, which you can then go to a new site. Comes in handy if you just want to cross compare, just work across multiple sites, whatever, whatever you do. <laughs> um, it comes in handy. Um, and it, this will work in just about any web browser from Chrome to Firefox to Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever your tool of choice is, your browser of choice is, good chance that it's going to work. So Control T, new tab. Shortcut number five is Control F. This is one of my favorite shortcuts, another one that I use a bunch. Uh, and this is a shortcut to search within a page or a document. You guys have probably experienced this. I know I do a lot. Um, you probably say um, a lot of times I may open up a huge document, maybe a huge PDF or, or even maybe an article sometimes, a long page on the web. But you're looking for one specific thing, a specific word, specific phrase. Um, instead of having to browse through that long document, that, that long web page, what you can do instead is hit Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac, and that will bring up a search bar um, where you can then enter a word, phrase, and uh, it, it will then um, you can, it'll highlight every instance of that word or phrase in the document. And this will work in um, web browsers. This will work in uh, a word processing app whether it's Word or Google Docs. It will work in spreadsheets, Excel, Sheets. Again, pretty much anywhere where you can um, review text, anything, uh, Control, it is a good chance that Control F, you can use it there, uh, give it a shot. So those are my five most used uh, keyboard shortcuts. Hopefully they help you out. I know they help me out a ton. I use them just about every day, like I said. So, uh, yeah. And uh, by, by no means, this is not an all-inclusive list. These are, there's a whole universe of, of keyboard shortcuts out there. These are just the five that I use the most. If you're watching this and there are others that I haven't mentioned uh, that you use on a daily basis, feel free to share them down below to help somebody out who's watching this. If you have any questions, also drop those questions down below in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. Another thing, again, if this is your first time on this channel, make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you go back and check out some of my older videos. Uh, you can also go over to my website, smartsimpledigital.com. have a bunch of other resources, uh, tech resources, tech tips for you over there as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.